Hey there, Leanne here, and what if I told you that fixing just a few simple things on your product page could boost your store's revenue by 23%? That's exactly what Hush Blankets achieved by optimizing their product pages. And today, I'm going to show you how to create product pages that convert. Whether you've just opened your Shopify store or are looking to improve it, I've got you covered. In this video, we'll explore two different ways to customize your product pages, a quick three-minute method to get started, and where to find inspiration for your designs. But before we dive in, if you find this helpful, hit that subscribe button and let's get started right away. All right, let's talk about the two main ways you can make your product pages stand out. The first one is the built-in theme editor. This is what Shopify gives you right out of the gate, and honestly, it's pretty powerful on its own. Here's how to find it. Just go to your Shopify admin, click Online Store, then Themes, and hit that Customize button. Hey, let's try to customize a product page together. I'll use the Electro theme to show you just how easy it can be. The best part about Electo is that it goes beyond the basics. It's got tons of features we can play with, and I'll walk you through them all. So check out the link in our comment to install Electro and play with them all. First, go to the Product Page section and select Default Product. Want to work with a specific product? Just hit this Change button under Preview. Now watch this. You can customize any element just by clicking on it. See how these options appear in the right column? Click an image to adjust the gallery. Click text to change fonts. Click buttons to modify colors. You get the idea. Once you're done, hit save and preview your changes. But hang on, here's something you should know. While the theme editor is great, it does have its limits. You can't drag and drop elements wherever you want, and you're pretty much working with what your theme gives you. Think of it like decorating a pre-built room. You can change the colors and move the furniture around, but you can't knock down walls or add new windows. Want to improve your product pages? Check out our video, How to Add Products to Shopify. I've included the link right up here. Now let's talk about the second way, using page builder apps. If you're thinking, what's a page builder? Imagine having complete freedom to design your page exactly how you want it. I'm using PageFly here, but there are plenty of other page builders. Just search for page builders and you'll find them in the Shopify app store. Here's why they're awesome. Watch this. See how I can just drag elements anywhere I want? Want an image here? Drop it in. Need a button there? Just drag it over. No coding is needed at all. It's literally point, click and drag. Look at all these elements you can add. Countdown timers, product galleries, custom buttons pretty much anything you can imagine. And the best part? You can see exactly how it'll look as you build it. Not a tech person? Perfect! That's exactly who these apps are made for. If you can use PowerPoint, Canva, or Figma, you can use a page builder like PageFly. It's that simple. All right, now let me show you something really exciting. How to transform your product page in just three minutes using a PageFly template. Trust me, this is going to save you hours of work. First, jump into PageFly and head to the Templates section. Here's a pro tip. Use the filter to see just the product page templates. See all these beautiful designs? These are ready to use right out of the box. Check this out. Here's the Everywhere template. It's perfect for seasonal sales, like Black Friday or Christmas. That's what I love about PageFly. Every template is designed with a specific purpose in mind to help your pages convert better. Just look at how clean and professional this layout is. And here's the best part. You can customize every single element to match your brand perfectly in just two columns, general and styling. Just click it, 
and you can change anything using these general and styling options on the right. The next section is the product details section. Here's what to do. Hit select product, type in your product name and pick the one you want. Need to add something extra? Look at this elements panel on the left. Just drag what you need and drop it where you want. Then customize it using the same general and styling columns. Now for the benefits section. This is made with a content list element. Besides changing the text, you can customize each icon too. Just click the icon, hit select icon, and find one that works for you. Don't like the order? Just drag and drop them in the page content section. Moving on to our next section, works just like the benefits area. For images, click the image element, and you'll see three options. For example, I will select one from my library. After selecting, remember to hit Done to save the change. I will try to remove it here and add a free image from Shopify for you to have a better visualize. For the video section, if HTML video isn't your thing, no problem. Go to Elements, search for video, and you will get three choices. YouTube, HTML, or Vimeo video. Just drag your preferred option in and remove the old one. A super simple way to swap elements. Now, check out something special in the next section. Notice anything different about the background? Instead of a basic color, we're using an image background, something most Shopify themes can't do. To adjust it, hit the styling column, click Change, and you'll see those same three image options. Here's a pro tip. See that overlay on the background? Click More Settings. Scroll down to Overlay Color and you can customize that too. One of the coolest things about Pagefly is how it works with other apps, over 170 of them. Take this section here. We're using Vibe for shoppable Instagram feeds. Want to add different apps? Just check the third-party elements section. And if you need an app that's not integrated yet, no problem. Just use the app blocks element to add any app you want. Move on. Let's look at the frequently asked questions section. We're using accordion elements here. They keep everything clean and organized. Just adjust the text or add icons for each accordion using these settings in the general and styling columns. And finally, let's talk about cross-selling. That's where this product list element shines. Click it, select your collection, and I'll set it to show three items. You can choose between a grid or slideshow layout. Adjust the alignment and space things out just right. Want to tweak individual products? Just click and customize using these columns on the right. And there you have it, a complete product page set up in minutes. These are just simple changes you can make with Pagefly. Pagefly offers so much more, and I've included an install link in the description below so you can explore its full potential without limits. So we've seen how to use Pagefly templates, but let me show you another great place for inspiration. The Shopify Theme Store. This place has tons of great designs to inspire your product pages. Let me show you how to find them. From your Shopify admin, scroll down and click on the Visit Theme Store button. Now these filters up here are your best friends. Let me show you why. Look at these categories. Business type helps you find themes built for your industry. Product catalog size matches themes to your inventory level. Want specific features like quick view or product filtering? Just check these boxes. Here's a pro tip, you can preview any theme before committing to it. For example, I love the Celia style from the Bloom theme, but not sure if this theme is the perfect fit for your store? No problem, I just need to hit Twi theme, make a few customizations, 
Then click the three dot menu and click on View to see a preview. You see, Blum features a sleek minimalist design that really showcases your product photos with its clean layout. The best part? Testing themes is completely free. You only pay when you decide to publish one. Take your time exploring different options until you find the perfect match for your brand. All right, we've covered a lot today. You've got everything you need to create amazing product pages. All the links we talked about are in the description below. Hit subscribe for more Shopify tips and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.